it is good. And let's have this database connectivity. Next, you yeah, under data source then, test connection. Test connection succeeded, click on OK. okay. Now to load tables, click on select button. Example, I want to load categories, add, and other details, click on add, and products, click on add, and OK. We have established a database connectivity, and here we have loaded three tables. Now, I will execute this script. Click on OK, then go to table we are controlled. Actually, here we have loaded only three tables. Categories, products and other details. But here it is displaying one more table, SYN one table. You can say this is synthetic table or synthetic keys. You can say these are some kind of issues while preparing data model in ClickTube. So we need to resolve this synthetic keys. If more than one field is common between two tables, say, in other details and products, here two fields are common, product ID, unit price. So here more than one field is common, so by using these common fields, a new table is created, we can say that is synthetic table or we can say synthetic keys. Now we need to resolve this synthetic key. We can resolve synthetic keys by using several ways. In these two tables, two fields are common, product ID, unit price. From any one of these two tables, if we drop one field, for example, from product table, if I drop unit price, now there will be only one field is common, product ID. Then there will not be any synthetic keys. Here, among these two fields, we need to decide which field we need to drop. Among product ID, unit price, which field we need to drop means, here product ID is key field. Key field is similar to primary key. We need to use this key field to implement join to establish relationship between those two tables. So, if you want to drop in here, we need to drop unit price. How can we drop? While loading itself, we can drop. Example, while loading itself, I'll drop this unit price. Control X. Now, there will be only one field. Product ID is comma. Then there won't be any synthetic keys. Go to table here. There is no synthetic keys. There is no synthetic table here. Why? Because in between other details and products, we have only one field. Product ID is common. And I will keep this one, event price. And by using drop statement also, we can drop. Drop field. Field name. Here field name is unit price. Unit price from table name. Here table name is product. For which semicolon. Drop field, field name. Drop field, field name. Unit price from table name product. Click on reload. Now also, your price will be dropped. And if you go to table here, there won't be any synthetic keys. But here what we need to remember is by dropping field name is not at all a best practice. I'll remove this one. Now, for example, if I rename, this unit price has some unit space price. In one table, that is unit price, and in some other table, that is some unit space price. Now, these two will be different. Then, then only, only one field product ID will be common. Then, there won't be any synthetic keys. Example, unit price has unit space price keep this in between square brackets we click on reload okay so go to table here 
there won't be any single keys. In one table it is unit price and in some other table it is unit space price. You are what we need to remember is by renaming field name also not at all a best practice. Next one is by commenting field name. For example, say I want to comment this unit price. Two forward slashes are it is you two forward slashes are select this one. Right click, select the code and right click, comment this one. Now if you click on reload, that particular that unit price will not be loaded. Then there won't be any single keys. So as of now we have seen by dropping field name, by renaming field name and by commenting field name. All those are not at all a best practices. Go to edit script. Examples. I'll remove this one. Here, qualify field name. The unit price. If we click on reload in the products table, the unit price field will be identified with this table name. Products dot unit price. Go to table view. Products dot unit price. Comma separated field. Click on below. Products dot unit cost. Products dot unit price. You can check in table view. Go to table view. Say. In products, in products dot unit price and products dot unit cost. This way. If you want to qualify all the fields, means here we need to give qualify star here. All the fields in product save will be identified with table name. Say product start category ID, product start product ID, product start product name, like that. All the fields in the product table will be identified with table name. No relationship. Why? Because here it is product start product ID, here it is product ID. No relation. So, after writing qualified statements, best practice is at the end of the table, that's better to write unqualified statements. Then, then only that particular qualified statements will be applicable for only that particular table. Only. Go to edit script here. I'll remove this one. Write qualify statement here. Qualify unit price. After this qualify statement, for all occurrences of unit price, those unit prices will be those fields will be identified with their table names. For example, see unit price occurs in order details. Order details dot unit price. And unit price occurs in products table. Products dot unit price. Like that. As of now, unit price is not at all a key field. Unit price is not a not really key field, so there is no issue. For example, if it is a key field, the relationships here we may not require. Here we may not require a relationship with this one, this field. But in some more table, we may need a relationship with this particular field. And if it is identified with this table name is relationship with some other table may affect. We have seen just now. Qualify star. Correct qualify star. All field names are identified with the table name. Now there is no joints. Yeah. So best practice is after writing qualify statements at the end of the table, that's better to write unqualified statement. Yes. Here. Unqualify. Unit price. 
un peu. Now it is applicable for only order details table only. Now it is displaying unit prices, same unit price only. As a home, this is the best practice. In regular, we'll be using this qualified and unqualified statements only. We can resolve synthetic keys. If synthetic keys occurs in between multiple tables, man, for example, I'll remove this one. Click on reload. Go to table view. Here, only one synthetic. And in between, there may be some 4 or 5 centric tables and there may be some 10, 10, 15, 12, like that. Based on these centric key field names, here we can know what are the common fields here. Then we need to write qualify statement, comma separate qualify statements for all those columns. Qualify and unqualified statements. We need to check based on centric keys. Centric tables will be formed. Multiple centric tables will be formed. SYN1 table, SYN2 table, SYN3 tables, like that. So based on these centric tables, we will come to know in between what tables centric keys are found. Then by making use of qualified and unqualified statements, we can resolve those centric keys. 